Awesome. Cool. All right. So let me ask three questions or two questions before I start. So raise your hand if you've ever used the modular forms code or modular symbols code in Sage for anything. Okay. Keep your hand up if it did what you wanted. <laughs> right, I mean, for something like reasonably complicated, you were able to get it to do, which, okay, good. And then the next question is, uh, how many of you have something you would really like the modular forms code to do? If you were, in, and can say like, oh man, if you guys could compute, well, other than William, uh, if you guys could compute this, I'd be really excited. Does this have to have to do with, with modular forms? Or? Yeah. No. It's something you well, compute using, well, I mean, something using the modular, modular forms code. Right? I mean, you already saw the remod hypothesis using the modular forms code. That's a, that's a separate project. <laughs> I mean, something like video or hyper modular forms count? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's definitely cool. something that you know one day we would like to have. But I mean, I don't, I, that, that strikes me as further off, at least right now. Although, maybe not. Maybe it's just a question of getting it. Can server? Oh, I'm stupid. Hold on. Let me just plug in okay. so that I don't power save continuously. Sorry. All right. So sadly, now that I'm following Martin, who managed to shock everybody into being typing continuously, testing rational multiplication, I don't have any exciting examples like that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I mean, all I did was, I mean, so I'm going to just show you some stuff in Magma and some stuff in Sage to start. Right, so this is magma. You can compute spaces of modular symbols. You can ask for new form decomposition. You can take some bases of various spaces. Can you, can you switch back to the oh, background? Oh, sure. Yeah, sorry. You're not used to the other I know. I know. I actually prefer it the other way, but I guess I'm weird. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, you can do the things you would expect. I mean, have, have, who's never tried to use the modular forms code for anything? Okay. Right, so, I mean, sort of the standard, uh, right, so, yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, I mean, this, this is what you would normally start by doing. Um, and then you, oh, I can't hit enter, that's a problem. Um, oh, what the heck happened? That's useless. I'm just going to forward back a page of time. Page up, page yeah, that's a good idea. deleting back in spacebar. Mm -hmm. Spacebar? There we go, that's what I want. Okay, so, I mean, when you start with Magma, I mean, Magma is really our competitor, right? What we want to do is do everything Magma does and then do it faster, do it better, and do more, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a good start for the modular forms code, because William, I mean, William's stuff in Magma for modular forms is really kind of the only serious implementation of modular form stuff that's kind of general that people have out there. So, the first goal would be to do that. So, this is what Magma can do. Yeah, so, William is trying to beat William now, which is, you know, maybe a little... Uh, Awkward. Um, so, I mean, at the beginning, you know, you have kind of the basic stuff. I turn the header so it fits in the window. But, uh, you know, I mean, you, you get the same basis. So, obviously, William was in kind of the same mood when he wrote the code, right? Because you get the same basis well, for Q expansions and things like that. Uh, well, although, I mean, it's, it's actually, just the echelon form. Yeah, so it's just the echelon form. Yeah, yeah. So, it's canonical. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, Magma can work directly with modular forms. State has some modular forms code that claims to work directly with modular forms. Based on some recent experience of several people, we are a little unsure of some of it. Um, for instance, we used to claim that we were computing new space, new subspaces of spaces and modular forms. That code is is a little off. So, I mean, lots of things have been replaced by non-implemented errors because they didn't work. So it was replaced with non-implemented error, supposed to bug the track, fix it later. Um, so, but it's uh, not just not implemented, and also gives, uh, like, I think modular forms is great for, it's not, no, there were, so yeah, yeah, there are That's why it's not implemented now. Right, yeah, no, no, those are the things that I've been changing to not implement errors. You should use modular symbols. Yeah, the modular really symbols good. code is all, I mean, I'm going to say this in two slides. The modular symbols code is all pretty trustworthy. If you work directly with modular symbols, everything should work out fine. If you try working with the modular forms code, you'll get some numbers. It's unclear if they mean anything. Um, no, I mean, you get, you get lots of modular forms out, but like, I mean, so, so the thing is, and I mean, here, let me just skip to the slide because this is what I'm talking about. Uh, so, oh no, it's, it's too far ahead. And how do I go back? This is just all, oh, there we go. Um, so, I mean, the next thing you want to know is how fast it is, right? So, uh, if you run this in Magma, you can create some big spaces of modular symbols if that's what you're in the mood to do. And uh, I put some timings down. Um, it's a little slower in Sage, so, I mean, I, I just put the two timings down so you could compare. Um, 
I tried the last one this morning. I started during William's talk. I gave up after David Rowe's talk because it was just not finishing. So for computing big spaces of modular symbols, it doesn't work very well. For computing past a certain point for even weight two, which is the case where Sage has had some specific work done, it's not bad, but it's still not competitive with Magma. And there's a good reason for this, which uh, uh, William explained to me this morning. Um, the code that you're looking at right here, so this code, um, oh, I take all back. So this code right here, in order to compute a space of modular symbols, you have to compute out a bunch of elements. So you have this basis, and then you have these relations that you have to compute. So to compute out this matrix of relations, the code in Magma is hand-optimized C code, right? They have, I mean, they went, I mean, William sat down and well, figured me out. And Alan. Oh, okay. So William and Alan sat down and figured out a really good way to get this code running and running fast, right? In Sage, this stuff, so I mean, these are these really fast times that we're getting. This code that we're running here is a Python script that William wrote that, you know, does some clever things, but is not nearly as optimized or well thought out as the C code. So, I mean, it makes sense that these things are running slower, right? So, in fact, if you look, um, if I try and compute out a space of modular symbols, right? So, I ran this, it took, you know, this is a slightly smaller example. So, it takes three seconds to run. Almost all of that is spent taking the generators and creating a basis matrix out of that, right? So, this is all just you creating, I mean, this is just you generating this matrix from uh, oh, this is actually you taking the generators and computing the basis, right? So this should be make a base, make a matrix out yeah. of the relations and compute the row echelon form. Yeah, yeah. Right? But that, I mean, that's what's dominating the computation, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not anything about modular forms code. This is just, you know, data structures and then linear algebra, right? And this is something that Magma is known to be very good at. And it's something that we just haven't touched as much. So it makes sense that we're slower than them right now. Um, um, so I was saying this before. The modular forms code in Sage is, uh, I mean, there's, there's stuff that claims to work with modular forms directly, and there's stuff that works with modular symbols directly. So the stuff that works with modular forms uh, is a little dubious. I wouldn't really trust anything I get from it right now. Um, I'm actually currently sifting through this code. Uh, the modular symbols code is much more trustworthy. It, it all seems to work pretty well. I mean, you've, you've presumably checked that against the stuff that you computed with Magma as well. So, well, there's a um, lot of automated testing that does internal consistency checks. Okay. And with modular symbols, there's, or modular forms in general, I mean, there's a lot of internal consistency checks. It's very hard to get things wrong and have the consistency checks work with modular Pass. symbols. Because okay. the dimension will be wrong if you mess up at all, or the heck right. operators won't commute. So. Right, that's an actual sign that something's wrong. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, cool if you look at this code, I, I mean, William might disagree with this, but this is my impression having read through a chunk of it. Um, William wrote this code, especially the modular forms code, it seems like a lot of it was written kind of early. Yeah. Well, the okay. modular symbols code is basically the first thing I ever okay. wrote. Okay. It was non-trivial. Yeah. And, I mean, some of it, like, especially the modular forms code, some of it, it seems like there were ideas that you had that just, you were going to make something work this way, and then you didn't get around to it, or it didn't happen, and then Sage started rolling, and you were working on other stuff. So it's just been mm -hmm. sitting, believing that something was going to be changed, some, you know, standard for how the basis of a space of modular forms was stored, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so this is why the answers, the, this is why the computation goes through, but the answers you get are just nonsense. It's assuming something about its inputs that just aren't true. Oh, with modular forms. With modular forms yeah. code, yeah. Um, so, uh, oh, that worked my computer. Now my computer's out of sync with this thing. Uh, no, no, it's bad. Um, so, uh, there are places where Sage either does or should beat Magma. Um, so, if you want to compute, if you take a space of modular symbols, you want to compute a heck operator, then compute its characteristic polynomial. So this is us and magma. So we're slower to compute the space. We can compute the heck operator faster, and then we're slower to actually compute the characteristic polynomial. Although the code for the characteristic polynomial should be asymptotically faster, you said. I think that um, on Xeons, it's already better. But on Optrons, oh, on Optrons. Mag magma's care poly is pretty good for Optrons, mm -hmm. and then slower on Xeons. But yeah, it should be the algorithm is asymptotically faster than magma's. But there's a lot of tuning issues for small sizes, like up to a thousand. <laughs> okay. So, um, hmm? like both of them were like under a second. Oh yeah, I mean if you so yeah, if you bump it up, I mean we, we start. I mean you know the difference is slightly noticeable. Sadly, we're uh, we're much slower yeah. on the. That's care weird, volume. actually. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll compute more of these than you know. You know, this could be partly an issue of 64-bit um, Atlas on that machine being slow. Because I think this mm -hmm. depends a lot on the speed of the atlas. 
I remember when Martin and I were doing some benchmarks, it seemed like 64-bit Atlas, at least from a year ago or so, was pretty slow, which was kind of weird. That has greatly improved by about 150%. Yeah. This is like the Debian stable Atlas on 64-bit from yeah, three, a year three, ago. 360 sucks. Uh, 3737 is pretty good mm -hmm. because... Uh, so I should rebuild, I should, so this depends a lot on, it's, it so all comes down to Atlas on Sage. Sage. Yeah, you should use Atlas package. Okay. It's worth, yeah, it's definitely something to try. Right. Uh, so, Again, this is this is something David Harvey mentioned a long time ago. This is an example where having some sort of uh, timing information stored somewhere and testing that would be very nice. Because if this was fast and suddenly got slow, that's something we'd really want to know about. Yeah. Right. Because of Atlas or because of something else. I'm just trying to figure out why it's slow at all. Right. Compared to MacBook, it's probably an Atlas-related issue. Uh, what's the is charcoal in inbox or? Yeah. 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 It's, it's just Clement. Pretty easy. Yeah. It's just Clement Prunet's new pure poly algorithm for dense matrices over Z. With this, with this uh, able, the, NT, uh, the NTL version did the fallback on the working one. For pure poly? Yeah. I think so. Uh, the, uh, I think it touches the same code because um, yeah, I don't know. it was, it's, it's all, all goes through that. So there's a chance you're saying that the fast could be a regression turned off. Yeah, and that's entirely possible. Right. Okay. It was the bug where it only crashed on the Indian machines for some reason. Oh, yeah, for care poly? What was that? No, the debt. The debt crash. Yeah, yeah. The debt, I they, think it's a yeah. side effect of because Char yeah. and debt all use the same infrastructure in that regard. Uh -huh. Because we disabled the NTL uh -huh. do the uh, we use. Uh, in other words, the fast yeah. poly algorithm of Clement is maybe just turned off here, which could possibly, or something I, I that uses. I can okay. ask him all, but I think that's it. Well, that might, that might be one of the potential reasons. Yeah, that could also no, explain why this is so pitiful. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is also an example of how these things just come down to linear algebra, so the faster we make linear algebra, yeah. the happier we get. Yeah. Um, I mean, that step right there, computing the poly, that's, well, actually, that, that's really nice. But I mean, that's like one of the main steps. You don't care if the presentation or the heck operator takes three seconds right. if the care poly is taking 30 seconds or 300 seconds. Yeah, that's I, one of the I deleted the timing information. But yeah, they, I mean, computing that space of modular symbols is not nearly as long as it takes to compute the characteristic polynomial in magma. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. that yeah, thing yeah, at yeah. the bottom, if we were to beat them on the characteristic polynomial computation for things that you might want to do, like find out eigenvalues or something like that, this mm -hmm. is much, that would make us much yeah. faster. Right. It's just that computing the initial space is really slow. Um, so, um, right. So, I mean, so what, what's the state of affairs right now? Um, we have uh, a lot of code that just hasn't. I mean, most of it I don't think has been touched much, other than to you know have somebody go through and say like, oh, we changed the way this works, or we changed the way you know that works, and just make a few small changes in the files uh, since William wrote it. Right. A lot of it's just been sitting. Um, I mean, a few things have had chunks added. Like you've added some code recently into the into the archive. Like yeah, everybody's thrown in. Hmm? I wrote a lot of mod form doc tests. You wrote mod form doc tests. I wrote some and some modular things. I got it. Oh, oh, a little while you wrote ago. A lot more. <laughs> you wrote a lot more. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I was making sure I wasn't doing the same thing. No, no, no. Um, so, uh, I mean, really, I think most of the code that's in there, people will discover they need a function and go, oh, I need this to work faster. And they'll go in and they'll sit down and they'll write it. Like, I needed Eisenstein series computations to be faster. So I went in and did that. And I didn't even bother to make it so that if you compute a space of modular forms and ask for the Eisenstein series, that it uses any of the code I wrote. So if you just started using modular forms and asked for a subspace of Eisenstein series, you wouldn't know that there's fast code sitting in stage to do it. You would have to think to type Eisenstein series Q expansion from the command line and figure out that that's the right thing to use. So there's a lot of it that just, you know, kind of everybody throws a little bit in and it's not really being maintained at all. Um, and the modular form code in Sage really needs to be looked over because we just need to replace the computation with actual computation of spaces of modular forms. Um, I mean, you need to, I mean, we, we have the modular symbols code working, so we should just use that to find the spaces of modular forms, to find new forms and things like that. Um, or I mean, compute it in some other reasonable way. I could have a question. Yeah. I have no to understand the distinction between modular forms and modular symbols. Like I, whenever, whenever I'm trying to calculate modular forms, I use modular symbols package to like, do most of the computation. Is there a particular like is there should I look at modular form as anything aside from front to the modular symbols? Or uh, I mean Well it definitely in Magma it is something different. Like at level one it will compute a basis using E4 and E6 and then high whereas modular symbols won't. 
So it can be vastly faster using modular forms at level one. Okay. And actually, if you can pre-compute data similar to E4 and E6 for you know, all the levels up to 100, for example. And the modular forms package would potentially take advantage of this to be able to much more quickly compute a basis of Q expansions. Um, so another big difference, if you're computing a heck operator on a space of modular forms, you get it with respect to a basis of modular forms. Whereas if you compute it with respect to, I mean, with modular symbols, you get it with respect to a basis of modular symbols. And it's actually a lot harder to write down a heck operator with respect to any basis of modular forms. Because you need the Q expansions to sufficient precision to be able to write down the heck operator. So many things are actually a lot harder on modular forms. So I mean, you actually starters, right? I mean, yeah. so you, you kind of looked questioningly. Do you disagree with the claim that we should use modular symbols to do a bunch of the backend computations of modular forms? Well, that we, should be the default, but then there should be other ways. Oh sure, okay. Of cases, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how it is in Magma with right. modular forms. Okay, with that package. I mean, we should have some working code in modular forms. Is really my issue, and modular symbols seems to be the only code that's written right now. Yeah. Well, actually, there's also, for level one, there's a Victor Miller basis right. command that will give you a basis for level one modular forms. Okay. And there's also commands, I mean, yeah, once you have that, I mean, it's all you really need to do a lot of other things as a basis with modular forms. Right. Yeah. Um, so also, there's just a lot of stuff that hasn't been written, like if you just grab or not implemented error in the modular tree, there are at least 130. That's a little unfair, because when you make um, oh, a sure. base class and then you derive from it, you're supposed to make methods that you don't define in the base class, not implemented errors, that are that have to be. Oh, that have to be, yeah. right. So, so it's like a programming style. Right. So um, there might be some like that, that are in abstract base classes. Some um, of those definitely are. Some of those definitely are I can't aren't. think of any. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you um, know, all the heck of modules yeah, are so abstract some of, Yeah, some classes. of the like G, uh, GOQ and G1Qs and things like that, you've, no, you've but put the, in base. But there's a, there's a whole bunch of code that's for general modules over heck algebras, and they're all abstract okay. base classes, because none of them I mean, you always have to derive from them and then define something like modular symbols, super singular module, modular oh, forms, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, all derived right. from the, the, some things, the things that are never supposed to be called because they're yeah. supposed to be overwritten. So yeah, that's true. That, that is might be, There might be something there. Right. Um, I, I, I the think Heka there is directory. still a fair amount missing. Yeah, it's the HECA directory. I don't know. Right. Well, I'm curious to hear what it is. Yeah, it has. That accounts for 13 of them. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are probably not abstract. <laughs> right. um, so I, I started trying to do doc tests in the modular wow. forms directory. So, cool. you can, so this is the before and after uh, for just the files that were over 100 lines. There are more that you know only required four doc tests, so I won't count those. But like, I mean, you can see what it was like before. Pretty much nothing had doc tests. All the, I mean, think about it this way. If, the answer was 2% of the files had sufficient doc testing. That means there were at least 50 functions in the file, right? Because it had to get 2% out somehow. So there were a lot of things in those files that have very small numbers that just had no doc tests. So the thing is, a lot of time, I mean, willing code test was putting doc tests into a section of the code. It sounds like it shouldn't be so bad, except that if you're really so gonna do it right, you start plugging in a bunch of inputs, and then you find small bugs, or you figure out that you're confused by what the code does, and then you dig around for a while. Or the design is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this, I mean, this is just a fair amount of stuff to be done. So this needs to happen in the modular symbol subdirectory. This needs to happen with HECA modules. There's just a lot to be done for maintaining this code. Um, so. Uh, it's fun to run that on uh, Piatics. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, it, the, I mean, there are some doc tests in the Piatics directory. Right? Yeah, there's, let's see. Looks like there's about 40 or 50. Right. So, uh, I mean, before and after is before I started yeah. adding doc tests and after I started adding doc tests. So the modular forms directory, as you can see, is almost done. Although you haven't are actually still, given me any of this code. No, I just have to send you the patch. But I mean, I was going to finish those last two files. But oh, there yeah. are still a handful of things that need done that mm -hmm. are, um, I mean, there's some things that need to be changed now that we've thought about the code again for the first time in a while. Yeah. Um, right. So, I mean, that's the state of affairs. The modular forms code is kind of iffy. The modular symbols code seems to work quite well, um, yeah. is not as fast as it could be, and needs doc testing. Um, for instance, in the modular symbols code, for computing spaces of modular symbols, I pointed out that William uh, had code in Magma that computed presentations in a very quick way. Um, for lots of different spaces, there are different things you could do that would make that a lot faster. And just none of it's been done in Sage, because nobody's sat down and done it yet. 
Um, so really the question is, like I, I know the things that I, I mean, they're on the next slide, the things that I would be happy to start doing, and that I intend to start doing soon in the modular symbols code, modular forms code, and Sage. What do other people need? What, I mean, does, really what I would like is if people are using this code for anything. Because if you look, I think a lot of the bugs that are getting along, like, uh, so one guy just emailed us with a bug, I mean, he computed this uh, modular form using the modular forms code, and then checked it against William's tables, the modular forms database <laughs> online, and they were different, right? He, he emailed us, he was like, Am I misunderstanding something? And we're like, no, 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 that's just a bug. Uh, but I mean, I think he was probably the first person to really start testing that code out, right? I mean, hmm? Second? Uh, it, it was Rishikesh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, Rishikesh, you know, I mean, maybe other people have noticed there's this other, too, but yeah. There's some people that have emailed me who I've never, I didn't know him before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never heard of the, the only email I've seen, but I mean, William gets these emails. I just get the ones forwarded recently because, yeah. you know, um, I started maintaining. One code. thing that somebody requested like two weeks ago, which is would be a good thing to do is, so you have one specific modular form of low level and weight. So, and this is actually a very common thing for people to want. They have the form. They don't care how long it took to compute in the first place because you know ten seconds right. versus five. But now they want a hundred thousand coefficients, for or even a million coefficients. Uh, this is the sort of thing that's really really important for a lot of L series investigations and um, certain numerical computations where you need things to high precision. Right. And um, right now, Sage I think caches the hex operators as it computes them. So it'll end up just using way too much memory in order to compute all these coefficients, which is kind of stupid. So we could have yeah, a version that just doesn't do any caching, like a version of a command that gives you all the AP up to some down, but is as memory efficient as we can do, that sort of thing. Um, but that, that's definitely a what do people need. Right. Yeah, I mean, is there any, so does anybody want to use the modular forms code for something and doesn't know how to do it or tried it and it doesn't do it and they gave up? Just we need Atkin later operators. Say again? I just thought I didn't think submodule, which I might need to use it. Okay, yeah, we do have good code for enumerating all Eisenstein series with a given weight level and character and their Q expansions. Well, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm interested like, in knowing like, Eisenstein primes and things like that. Does that make sense? Which oh, yeah. That, that's for you need modular symbols for that. Totally different than what I just said. But you can do that, too, I think. Yeah, There's also a modular billion varieties package. You didn't mention which builds on modular symbols and allows right. it does some things. You can compute like the cuspidal subgroup and intersect different subgroups and compute. It does a few things. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've never which is actually kind of like what you might want. Yeah. You can make J zero then, oh. but it's it's um, it all uses homology uses homology to do all the calculations. So, so what's that? So what's what's the what should be the best method to compute the coefficients of modular forms of weight to say, like, even weight? That's an extremely big question. Are they, I mean, do they come from with the curves? Do you, huh? I mean, are they, are they integer? Yeah, what, that, um, what can I do? Points. Yeah, I mean, so for instance, we, I mean, just based on what I was timing recently, um, we were computing, for computing weight to new forms that have an input, I mean, that are- Watch out, it's a trick curves. question. Hmm? It's a trick question. No, 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 no. You, you just said that you want to compute millions or so, coefficients. Yeah. So what's the, suppose you want to compute the 10 to the 9 coefficients of modern form to weight 2. What's the? Well, it depends on the form. I mean, if it has trivial character, you definitely want to, want to try to use data series. But if it doesn't, then maybe you can't. But I'm not sure if you can see this here. I don't know. Uh, it's an elliptic curve, you're in good shape. <laughs> and if it's not, you, you know, I mean, it, weight two is kind of annoying, but in a lot of cases, like in level one, you know, you can use E4 and E6. And in the higher levels, you can do that too, except not when the, that doesn't really work when the weight is two. But sometimes it does. Question. I'm just looking at the abelian variety subdirectory, and there's a function called, there's a class in their finite subgroup. It yep. doesn't seem to depend anything, it doesn't seem to be related to abelian varieties at all. It seems to be just for modules. In the sense that when you look at it, it doesn't import anything that is related to modular symbols or abelian varieties. Or How long have you been looking at that? About two minutes, maybe one. Okay, so maybe you. Um, Maybe, you, I mean, it's hard to, f I, that's ridiculous. You don't know what you're talking about, sorry. 
if you look at the if you look at the constructor, uh, sorry, I mean just because at the top of the file it doesn't import something from modular abelian varieties doesn't mean that it's not. U oh, it is using. Okay, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I, I sorry. Was you're right. No, 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 no. You're completely right. It's an object right. that has a construct whose input is abelian variety. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Sorry. You're right. Sorry. Right. sorry about my scoffle remark. Yeah, there aren't very many doc tests. You can compute the the structure of the cuspidal subgroup of J0 of n, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's, I figured that's one of the functions what the class is supposed to do, but I was very confused on how it And you can also do, I think, for factors of J0 of n. So, I mean, does anybody have any questions or want to know anything else? About okay. So, in your example, where where stages computing the car quality? Yes. It's using the composition of the space by the side. Uh, no, no. In that case, that I don't know how helpful that would be, but that would might that might be helpful. Um, in that example, it undoubtedly just breaks up as a product of two. Yeah. Um, I. It's unclear to me whether that's going to be better or worse. The issue is that the matrix is a lot less sparse. It just isn't going to look very good when you restrict it to one of the two subspaces, and hence the care poly might be a lot slower for that reason. Um, and also, you have to do the linear algebra to cut out the subspace, which, I mean, that might actually, that's probably slower than computing the care poly. At least, well, right now, probably not, because that care poly seems ridiculously slow. But, um, I mean, you say it's using dense matrix particle. Yeah, these matrices are dense. Well, okay, T2 isn't that dense, but you're often very, I mean, you're often interested in other heck operators, not just T2. And they are pretty dense with respect so to modular pretty, symbols. What? They are pretty dense, but if you see, T2 is not best. Two, they're going to be more dense. Yeah. And, uh, they're going to be a lot more dense. Is going to be more. Probably. But the dimension is going to be tough. That's right. But you have to do the splitting in two. And in my experience, now, I don't know what has gone wrong with Carapoly, but Carapoly in practice is easier, and in theory, is easier than splitting the space. So. Um, I mean, care poly, just the complexity isn't as bad as actually computing the individual factors. So, uh, you might just make the problem harder. If you had a question? In some cases, it would be easier. Depends on how, what the accumulator operator looks like. Sorry. Yeah, uh, it's and definitely, it should be implemented. I mean, it should be like an option to care poly that they can try to split the. Actually, maybe it shouldn't be because you could just call m dot decomposition, or do t two dot decomposition and then do care poly in those. So I mean, it would be like three lines to implement that approach and see if it's better. Yeah, and so in a lot of situations, probably care poly is really slow, like over other base fields, and then uh, decomposing might be a better idea, first. So that mentions two thousand. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, dimension. yeah, yeah. In that case, but that wasn't the hard one. I mean, that's the one he was looking at. That was harder. Was oh. a bigger. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's taking less than a second. Yeah. 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 yeah this right. one is the space has dimension like a thousand. So. Um, yeah. It, the, I don't know if the care poly algorithm is at all sensitive to, to the care poly factoring as a product of two or not. That is in Linbox. So I wouldn't think so. You wouldn't, but yeah, I don't know. Um, like, actually, I mean, min poly, like the sort of the easy thing to compute usually is things like a min poly, where if you have mul fa factors of multiplicity, it can be a lot harder. But here, that isn't the case. But that's because we're looking at a prime level, and I mean, most mostly when you compute with modular symbols, you have composite levels in them. Things get more complicated. Does anybody want to do the? I mean, does anybody have any questions about something else? No. That's it. Oh, actually, I have a, Whoa. I have, I have a question. Let's just say, sort of, you know, at this point, it's a raft. Is there anything that we're doing? 
Um, that's not a point that we want to be implemented. The correct approach is just open a uh, track. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I mean, the what like, approach? Like the correct approach, approach if, if I go home and I start, you know, start working yeah. on uh, modular, yeah. all the modular form, and start saying, oh, why isn't this working? I should just open up a track. You know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I actually, uh, like around the last bug days, I went through and closed all of, all but like one or two of the, I mean, there were only like five, but uh, I closed the two or three easy picking modular forms bug tickets okay. just because, you know, they were there. So I, I actually check that fairly often just to see if people have mentioned other things. But if you file something on there, email me just to be very upset. Okay. Um, but yeah, all right.